Hey everybody, this is West Point checking in uh, for another short and simple tutorial. This one's actually going to be a similar short and simple tutorial. Today we're looking at uh, CBU 97s in CCRP mode. And some people will frown on that and say, no, you drop those in CCIP. I don't drop them in CCIP. I drop them in CCRP for a reason. I don't want to get down there within range of my target. Um, having uh, capabilities to shoot me out of the air just because uh, someone tells me that I need to make a CCIP drop of this weapon. Uh, we've been given intel supposedly for this scenario that we've got an outpost uh, that's received fuel trucks over here in Syria and we've, we've got the general coordinates and we found it and we look around on the ground and you can see like right in this area you can see a barrel standing up here's another one standing up we've got some anti-aircraft guns there and I don't want to fly into those so uh, preferably I'm going to drop these in CCRP so that uh, I can fly over nice and high. We're at uh, Angels 14500 right now, which uh, looking at what's down there, uh, that's going to be high enough to stay out of range for the uh, AAA guns. But uh, before we can drop this in CCRP, we need to look at the profile real quick. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to active pause. So active pause on. Active pause on. Active pause. There we go. That's a uh, voice attack. Sometimes it's not real quick, but it does work. Okay, so we're going to look at the CC, uh, rather the uh, CBU 97's profile. And when we view the profile, the mode that it defaults to is a CCIP drop. It wants us to roll in, dive on it, uh, get it in the uh, CCIP rectangle, and drop on it. Well, those particular guns that are down there are, uh, I believe it's a, a K-16 and uh, maybe an SA-19, uh, or KS-19 rather, not SA, there are no SAMs down there. Uh, those are older flak cannons, uh, 57 millimeter and 100 millimeter, and also right over here you can see a 23 millimeter Zoo 23 on an, uh, an Earl truck. We get down in range of those, those are going to kill us. So let's go to CCRP where we can drop safely above them. If we look at change settings, we're not going down so we don't need a minimum altitude. Um, this one feature in the profile, the HOF or height of function, that is how far above the ground the CBU-97 is going to open up and sling the bomblets out. And that's the one thing that we're going to look at and change. We saved the profile in CCRP mode. We can go back to the stat page. We're going to look at the inventory now and just select on one of the CBUs. Click CBU there. Uh, go to CBU 97. And here is our setting for height of function. And it just toggles through until you get back to the default of 1800. We're going to increase that to 2200 feet. And what that means is it's going to open up and sling the bomblets out at 2200 feet rather than 1800. And the reason that I'm doing this is because if you look at the target area, it's spread out. And without wind correction in the lacy settings, which we don't have that information, 
uh, we can't guarantee that that bomb's going to hit exactly where we want it to. So I'm going to increase the height of function of the bomb by 400 feet. And to log that into the profile, I'm going to put load symmetrical, load symmetrical. And now when we go to the stat page and we look at the profile for it, and we go down to CBU 97, we look. Now we've changed the height of function to 2200 feet. We go back to stat and we're good to go. Active pause off. Now we're going to select the weapon. And I've discussed this multiple times before. Make your HUD soy use DMS right or left short and uh, select your weapons. That'll cycle through your weapons. And when we select the CVU-97, rather than a CCIP rectacle come up, we got a CRP rectacle come up because that's what we put into the profile. If we do hit the OSB next to it to select that particular weapon, it is going to change it back to its default settings and it will put it back in CCIP mode and it'll put the height of function back at 1800 feet which we didn't go through all that trouble to do that so we're going to make the HUD soy and I'm going to drop it right close to the center of all of this so I'm going to go TMS up long and make that our speed and once again, we're going to hold right here at uh, 14,500 as we come over this target. And inside the CCRP rectangle, you see the one dot that is the uh, pipper in there. And we want to put that right over the ASL or the azimuth steering line. That's the line that the bomb is going to fall down. Now, up at the top of that, you'll see the the ball, uh, that's what I call it, uh, it's the queuing solution. And it's now got the number 12 next to it and it's counting down. And what that is, that's the time to release uh, numeric. Now I'm holding the manual release, weapon release button down as it goes through the pipper. And Let's go into autopilot and uh, see what see what we did by changing that only 400 feet. If you've dropped very many CBU 97s, you know sometimes they they spread well, sometimes they don't. But this should give us a wider spread or sprinkle. Notice that it's already opened up now, and we've got the uh, bomblets that are dropping. So. Here is our target below us, and let's see, this is looking pretty good so far. We may be a little bit to the south of it, but hey, uh, we're getting a good spread. That was a good spread. So let's come back around and take a look and see what we got and what we didn't get. Um, changing it 400 feet slings them out farther, or rather spreads them out farther so that when they open up they can sling the, uh, uh, the little shape charges out farther. And uh, let's see if we were successful in our objective and also took care of the uh, ground threats at the same time. Uh, we've got the last of the uh, fuel trucks blowing up as we're watching now. This was the um, mounted 23 millimeter on the truck. Clearly we got the gun that was in the courtyard, it landed directly on top of it. And there is our other uh, AAA gun right there. And we just killed the last uh, 
of the fuel trucks that we were after. So with one CVU-97, uh, we successfully shacked, well, essentially the entire outpost. And uh, a lot of that had to do with just increasing the height of function on the CBU-97 by 400 feet. Um, you can play around with that and find a, a setting that you like. I find that 2,200 feet from an altitude of 14,000 works really well if you want to keep it somewhat tight, uh, but at the same time get a good spread. Uh, if there's any wind that you need to do wind correction for, we don't have these the, the wind and temperature information at different altitudes in this mission, so we can't go into the lacy settings and change them. So that's pretty much a non-starter for this one. But that's something we'll look at in the future also, is uh, wind correction. I hope that helped on your CCRP drops, and uh, if, it, if you have any questions on them, uh, just drop them in the comments, uh, click like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Happy hunting, and this is West Point checking out. Have a good one.